Good morning, everyone. Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time for this Monday. We are in continuing in the book of 2 Corinthians. Uh, we started chapter 3 yesterday. We will pick up today in verse 7 as Paul continues his uh, exhortation on um, living the life of a Christ follower and being part of a community of faith. Today he talks about comparing the um, the old covenant of the Old Testament under the law with the new covenant of the New Testament under grace. He says in verse 7, the old way with laws etched in stone led to death, though it began with such glory that the people of Israel could not bear to look at Moses' face. For his face shone with the glory of God, even though the brightness was already fading away. Shouldn't we expect far greater glory under the new way now that the Holy Spirit is giving life? If the old way, which brings condemnation, was glorious, how much more glorious is the new way, which makes us right with God? In fact, that first glory was not glorious at all compared with the overwhelming glory of the new way. So if the old way, which has been replaced, was glorious, how much more glorious is the new, which remains forever? Since this new way gives us such confidence, we can be very bold. We are not like Moses who put a veil over his face so the people of, God, of Israel would not see the glory even though it was destined to fade away, but the people's minds were hardened. And to this day, whenever the old covenant is being read, the same veil covers their minds so they cannot understand the truth. And this veil can be removed only by believing in Christ. Yes, even today, when they read Moses' writings, their hearts are covered with that veil and they do not understand. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. For the Lord is the spirit and wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord who is the spirit makes us more and more like him as we are changed into his glorious image. So as I said, Paul is... Um, taking this opportunity <clears throat> to talk to the church at Corinth about the difference between the old covenant under the law and the new covenant under grace. And what he is pointing out is that under the old covenant of the law, it was impossible for Israel and for everyone to uphold that standard that was set forth by the law. And therefore it was burdensome. But when Jesus came and then when he sent the Holy Spirit, there is a, an incredible amount of freedom that is given, given to us under grace and is given to us by the Holy Spirit. And so we, as followers of Christ, while we strive each and every day to um, live up to the standard that God would have for us, we understand that we are fallen and that we're frail and that we still sin. But we live under this idea of grace, the unmerited favor of God that while we were still in our sins, while we were dead in our sins, Jesus came and he died for us. And so when, when we have been set free from that curse, there is freedom to live our lives the way that God would want us to, knowing that there's no condemnation. Paul says that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The old has passed away. Behold, everything has become new. And so we are free to live our lives in such a way that will honor God, knowing, knowing that it's only because of the grace of Jesus Christ that we stand before him. Paul talks about this veil that Moses covered his face with um, so that the glory of God that Moses was allowed to be in the presence of would not harm the children of Israel. And that is significant for us because it is representative and it points towards the veil in the temple that would that would separate the priests from the holy of holies 
And when Jesus died on the cross, that veil was literally torn in two, opening up the presence of God to you and to me. I'm not sure we fully understand how incredible that is. We don't have to go through anyone else. We just come to God and because of what Jesus did for us with a humble and a contrite heart, we come to him, we ask for forgiveness, we are given that forgiveness, and we have an incredible fellowship that is made between us and God. As you start this Monday, this is the beginning of the new work week for you, start it out with that thought that you have been saved by grace, that the veil is torn in two, and you have complete access to your heavenly father because of what Jesus did. That's a great way to start this week. Let's pray. <clears throat> father, we thank you once again for the words of Paul. We thank you, Father, that we are no longer, no longer under the um, burden of the law while we um, strive to keep it because of what Jesus did. We know that that there's only one saving grace and that is through Jesus Christ and what he did for us tore that veil in two and allows us into your presence and all we can do is say thank you for that father help us today to understand what it means to live under grace and help us to share the love the grace and the mercy of Jesus with everyone we come in contact with and we thank you we praise you in the name of Jesus amen well, I pray and I trust you'll have a marvelous Monday. Until tomorrow, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. May you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.